The big change in Arizona law for reporting sexual abuse. In less than two months, a Tucson man filed a lawsuit against the Episcopal Diocese of Arizona and a church here in Tucson. Nine News Side's Natalie Tarangioli joins us live with more on the allegations and what both sides are saying. Natalie. Pat Valerie, here's that complaint that was filed in Pima County on July 12th. A man claims he was abused here at Great Grace St. Paul's Church in the 1970s. He tried to sue in the 90s, he says, but the time limit ran out. Allegations of sexual abuse at a Tucson church almost 50 years ago. A civil complaint states Grace St. Paul's Church staff ignored reports of sexual misconduct by an Episcopalian priest. Charles Taylor filed the suit this month claiming he was abused from 1971 to 1973. The church is supposed to be a place of healing, a place of reconciliation, not of sexual abuse. Taylor says he filed a complaint in 1991, but it was tossed out because it didn't meet the statute of limitations. But in May, a new law went into effect, expanding the window for sexual abuse victims. I know that I deserve justice. And, and we are going to, to make sure that everyone in this state under the new law will have justice and their day in court. The change in law gives victims until their 30th birthday to file complaints in court, which is a decade longer than before. It also allows those who have missed the cutoff, like Taylor, the option to sue until December 31st, 2020. The 6th Episcopal Bishop of Arizona issued a statement. It reads in part, I pray that this time we will be able to find a resolution that is faithful to our call as Christians and mindful of our role as stewards of our churches. I ask your prayers for Mr. Taylor, for all survivors of sexual abuse, for your clergy and lay leaders, and for our legal system. That statement from that 6th Episcopal Bishop, that comes from a letter that we received, and it was read here at Grace St. Paul's Church to attendees over the weekend. You can read that full statement along with that complaint. We have those linked on our website. Tonight, we're live in Midtown. Natalie Tarangioli, Kega 9, on your side.